Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot and I'm here to share with you the second video for our All About the Pockets mini album. So this is featuring different design ideas um, using pockets because we all love to use pockets. So this album is going to feature a lot of fun different um, pocket ideas, just designs and stuff. So last week we went ahead and this is the one that we created last week or last video I should say. So at the half page with all of our pockets right here. Let me get the tags out. So this is how we have here. And then we open up to this portion right here. So anyway, you can always take and move one step up on your page designs using a lot of the on the edge dies from Creelys and they come in different sizes. There's like this size here that works perfect with the medium pocket dies. We now have these fun larger ones. I don't have the bags for them. Um, the fun larger ones for on the edge that can fit up to the full um, eight and a quarter size pages. And then we also have really super tiny ones. And then we have our standard size ones right here. And then these again are the medium ones. So they work, they all work very well with the um, pockets. So what I did was for this is the one that we created the last time. So for here, I went ahead and created it again, but I used the dies. So that way you can see how much fun just adding these um, on the edge dies can kind of really enhance your pockets. So we have that there. Let's go ahead and put this in. You can get the full effect. And then over here, we I did that fancy part. And actually, I have it backwards. These can go in there like that. You can also use the dies in the pockets. So you can see how fun the tags look in there. And then, so that is, let's put them together. So these are the two the same pages. Let me zoom out. So as you can see right here, just a different look that it gives them. And then if you go ahead and open up, this is what we created with the regular pockets. And then I went ahead and created this with the dies doing the same thing. So it's kind of cute. And then for this video, we created another page design. So right here is using it all um, just straight edged pockets. So that flips up. And then up here we have a pocket. So you can go ahead and throw in some tags and photo mats right there. And then this will keep it closed because when it's down, the flap will keep that stuff from falling out of your book. So that's fun. And then we have pockets over here. And then again, same thing, pockets. And then right here, I created, that's too big. And then I have these little pockets here and then you can put in a small pocket here and there. Let's see, do I have, I don't have anything small enough for that yet. But that just shows you how that works. And in the tutorial, I went ahead and did it again, but going ahead and using on the edge dies just to show you that unique fun look. So look how absolutely cute that is. So you can see it just like that or just like that. So either one is really cute, but you can see the kind of the next level, the fancy edging kind of brings your pockets. And then this one flips up again. Same thing, just like that. Let's zoom back in now. And then over here, let's get these tags. Fun. And then opens up. And you can go ahead and add more and these are full four by six photo mats 
And then right here, we have these guys, just like that. And then again, you can do another one here and then the littler one. So you get the idea with that one. I have to cut more though. But anyway, the tutorial that is following is showing you how I created this one. And to make the one without the edging, you just follow the same steps. You just don't add um, the on the edge dies to go ahead and cut those out. All right, so I hope you're, oh, and then we open up here and then I have this part here, I almost forgot. I had mentioned it last time we were gonna put a pocket on it. So when you put the pages together, and that will be in our next video and that will be the last one, you'll have a giant pocket over here to go ahead and add um, photo mats and stuff. So that will be just like that and that will be cute. So then the way the whole thing will work is you have your half page and then this, and then we flip this way and then we would flip the whole thing because we would be attached this I haven't um, I'll probably add some pockets perhaps in the last video on here I just don't know how much room I have so I'm just kind of holding off because it's going to be really thick and then like this and then you have whoop, you have these guys all right so anyway I hope you will enjoy the tutorial I can't wait to actually see what this album is going to look like when it is completely done because already I just am enjoying how the neat look of these pages here. All right, so enjoy the video guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on our second page design for All About the Pockets mini album. And let me just show you what I come up with here for the newest page design. And does that not look so cool? You can see all those layers in it. I love that look. All right, anyway, let's get back to it. So this is all about the pockets. So what I did was I just did simple pockets with the dies. So let me walk you through. This up here lifts up with a pocket right here. And then this flap will keep everything contained when it is down. We have a pocket over here that has a, um, a flip sideways, as well as this one here, a pocket over here. And then, oops. And then right here, we have a pocket here, here, and a smaller one right here. So these are all basic um, pockets with no fancy edgings and stuff. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and create the same image, but we're gonna use on the edge dies to go ahead and make this a little more fancier. So you can see the difference between normal pockets and then pockets when you use on the edge dies. So this folds down and just like this, if you wanted to, you could also fold it just like that. But because of the, what I used up here, it says imagine I wanted this to be my top. So we're going to go ahead and get started and let's see what we come up with. So you're going to need to start off with a piece that is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and two pieces that are eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. And you're going to score on the eight and a quarter inch line at a half an inch and add tape. And basically these are the only pieces that you need for this page. Everything else is going to be made with dies. So super simple. All right, so I like to make sure I do everything centered. So I'm going to find my center on this piece. So if it is five, five and a quarter, so five, two, and two, three, four, five eighths, I think is my center spot. And this one. And then on this one here, I need to do it again. So this will be four and an eighth. And then here. 
and you don't have to center these I just do so we're gonna put our first flap on so we're gonna go ahead and turn it so I have my little mark right here I know you can't see it that well in my little mark right there so oops right there and I'm just gonna line them up stick this piece down and then I'm gonna turn it and add this one And now it's just about cutting all the dies. So basically, as you can see now, that's it. We're just going to go ahead and cut out all the stuff. So to start with, let's start with the top piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out from my large pocket die from Journals and Planners, number 651. I am gonna go ahead and cut that out. And actually, let's cut out one, two, three, four. We need four of these, so let's go ahead and cut four. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm using On the Edge die number 45, which is this very pretty little swoop. And you can either use it to cut out this way or you can cut out using it this way. Both ways are pretty. And you actually needed to cut out five of the large pockets because I forgot about my flap. So you need five of these to start with. So let's go ahead and get this one cut first. So as you can see, they fit really nice right on top, just like that. So I am going to use some washi just to stick it down. So let's go ahead and line it up. And now when I line it up too, I'm paying attention to how much is sticking over here and here. Try to get it the best I can, even. And when I have it how I like it, just add my tape and cut it out. All right, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see what a pretty image it shows there on the pocket. So it kind of gives it a fun design element. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my pattern piece. So I'm going to use this piece here to cut out my pattern paper. All right, so I went ahead and cut that out. So now I need to figure out where it goes on here. So the best way I found to do it is I go ahead and line up on the inside where I want it to go. While I hold it, you can tape it if you don't think you can hold it straight. So I flip it over this way and this side here is what, um, well, let me trace it first. So I just trace my pattern. So this side here is the way I do it that way because this will be the outside and I know when I put it on the top now, that's where it's gonna line up. So now I can just do the same thing. And line it on. So now I find where my pencil line is and I don't put it exactly because I want to leave a little bit of the black border. So I put it, so basically the pencil line is actually to the top of it. If, if I move it down, you can see the pencil line and I'm just putting it right there. And if I go up any higher, I would put it at the exact same spot it cuts out on the black cardstock. If that's the case, then I just trim off a little bit at the bottom to go ahead and give that black border. And then here we have here. So now we see if we line up, if we need to do any trimming. And as you can see, if I line it up, I don't have any black border. So I'm going to trim off a little bit off the bottom. So this is what I trimmed off. And let's see. 
and now we line up perfect. Whoops, I'm crooked. There you go. Now you can see it. So I line up good like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges and then we'll get it stuffed down. All right, so I inked my edges and I also added tape around my pocket. So let's get this guy glued down. And line that all up. That's good. Get that glue all spread out. All right, so this one is going to go on the top. So the five and a quarter inch width on our flaps matches this um, large pocket die perfectly. As you can see, once I put it on, you can see it fits perfect to the space. So I'm going to set this one on. And let's see. Looks good right there. This one's stuffed down and I'll turn it back the correct way in a second. So there you go. So we have this. I just have to add some pattern paper to here and we're going to go ahead and do this pocket the same way but it's going to be from this angle so it'll tuck under. So we will go ahead and cut it just like that again. Okay, so I went ahead and cut this one out here. So this is going to go on my side pocket. But then I thought, because this was the piece I had cut out, and then I have this piece here, which was part of it. But I'm almost thinking that it might look cute like that on the page. So I'm going to get it stuck down, and I might reattach that. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So let's first stick this down. And get this all lined up. And that looks good. Yeah, let's stick this one down first. Oh, and I also cut out my pattern paper for here, so let me just stick this one down first. So I went ahead and added some tape on the back. And I'm going to pull this side up first. So one thing, sometimes it's hard to see because you got black on black. So I like to go ahead and stick a white piece of paper or something that's not so dark. So I can make sure I'm getting my black border even that I like. So stick this one down and then do these two. All right, and then let's do this one. Again, let's throw this on there and I'm lining it up just make sure if you are using directional paper as you move along that you um, make sure you don't change your orientation if you start flipping things around too much and then all of a sudden you realize you're putting paper on upside down There's that. Now let's see. 
So I put that all the way in the pocket. It looks weird to me, but if I go, let's try to add this piece back on first. So to do that, I am going to go ahead and use some score tape. And to do that, I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put the tape halfway down. So I have half of it showing there still. And then let's put this piece back on. That. Let's trim up the teeth. sure it's good and stuck. All right, let's see now. Oops. So if I put it on, that looks cute. So I, one thing I do need to do is remove my pencil line because I can see that from when I cut that other piece out. All right, now let's cut this to size. So I want it to go about here. Actually, I want it to go just under a tad. Yeah, because I don't want to have too much of the black. Yeah, I'm going to go just under. So, let's see where I need to cut it. So let me trim that off so you can see this is what I trimmed off and then give it another test run and looks good like that so the first thing I want to do is stick down this part here because this is the part that's been retaped so And I like it right there. Let's stick that piece down. And then I can go ahead and remove my tape. You can glue it if you prefer. I just like to do tape while I'm making videos because if I make mistakes, I can undo it without having to do it all over, especially if I have to make adjustments to measurements. And sometimes I also create while I'm designing. So that's cute, just like that. So now we have to put our pocket here, here, and then we have a flap, and then we have our little set of stack pockets. So let's go ahead. We're going to cut this one, then this one, and then this will be our flap. Let's do our flap first, because this can be a little different. So, for the flap, we're going to use one side. This is going to be our hinge to attach. And then these flaps here will just get taped down. So this one here, I want to go ahead and do it this way. So I'm going to use... Use my grid here to line up. And let's see. Where's my center? So let's see. That's going to be my center right there. So then that means the center part or roughly the center on there is where I want to line that up. 
All right, so lining it up with my grid. And I'm going to do it at one inch right here. So I think that looks good. And if you have a different way of doing it, or you don't care if you're centered, cut it whatever way you like. So I'm going to run that through my machine. And this is what I have. So if I fold it down, I need to trim this guy back. So, and this is our flap. So I can tell by looking at it, it's not perfect, which will probably drive me crazy, but I'll live with it. And so we need to go ahead and stick this flap down because we don't need it. You could cut it off. I just like the nice clean edging. And this is going to be our flap that's going to stick down, so we need to add some tape on that guy. Okay. And let's get this back. So just so we see what we've got going. So we have here, and then this is going to go on the top up here, centered, roughly. It's a small area, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Actually, let's do a pattern paper first. It'll be easier so I don't have to move so much. So let me figure out what I'm going to use on that. But I'm going to go ahead and... I just don't know how far down. We are not. Okay, yes. So this one here, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to put this one going in this direction instead of down. Because if we do it that way, pretend like we're on here. And we're not gonna come all the way down to the score line just because it'll be too much. And then, okay, that'll work. So we're gonna cut this one out just a little different, so. This one here, some tape, and then we'll do our pattern paper on those two together. So I'm going to tuck my sides in and line it up here. And let's see, how far down are we coming? We are coming down one and a quarter inches. So... Right there. So what I did was made sure I was even from side to side here and then I'm right at the top. So I have this one cut out here. So if you don't want to add the borders and you want to make the page just like this one, we just don't do any fancy edging but everything else is the same. This just gives you an alternative way and you can see the difference between um, having some of it a fancy edging versus squared off edging. And I think a lot depends on the paper too. So this one here is gonna go in here. So let's trace this one out. Okay. 
one and then we'll add it. Let's do this one so that will be for this packet. Then this one is going to go down. So. And if you are not even, this is important that you do it this way because if you try to cut it even on the pattern paper after the fact, you're not going to, your papers aren't going to line up to your thing. So this one is going to go right there. So let me cut these two out. Okay, so I went ahead and got these all cut out. So they line up good. So let me get some tape on here. I absolutely love this paper collection. Steampunk and butterflies. I feel like it was made for me when this, this came out in 2018 is the date on the packaging and I literally hoarded a boatload of it and I will show you one second what the coolest thing of this collection is so this lady on the cover right here with the butterfly matches my tattoo I don't know how you can see her kind of like this and I got this done in um, June of 2014. So when I saw that image of the butterfly there and on her, let's see if I can get them both in the picture. Like that was, oh my God, I lost my marbles when I saw that. I was like, they created paper for me. And the tattoo image that I have was actually an image I came up with of several different design ideas that I had liked so when I saw this collection I know they didn't see my tattoo but I was like oh my god they made it for me it has my lady on it I lost my mind so I had to hoard a boatload of that paper So the tattoo didn't come after the paper. The paper came after the tattoo. Oops. So I did not copy any of that for my tattoo because the tattoo was like four years prior to this paper collection. But I thought it was so cool. And I need to cut one more. I forgot the flap, the inside flap of this piece, so I'll have to do that. I gotta figure out what I'm doing for inside paper. So let's get, oops, let's get the pocket stuck down and then I can figure out the paper. So I'm gonna hold off on the flap. And my pocket is gonna go down here. So I'm not going all the way to the score line because I don't want it to bunch up. So my score line, I don't know how we can, oh, let me stick it down. I'll show you. All right. So you can see there's my score line and there's the edge of my pocket. So I'm about a sixteenth of an inch because you don't want anything to bind up on that part so it won't fold. So now when that goes there, look how pretty that will be. It's going to be pretty. So now i got to figure out what to put underneath. And I'm thinking, what did I do? Oh, I did that one there. So let's see. All right, let me find it. Okay, so I think we are good. So I went ahead and cut this one out for, oh, sugar. I cut it out upside down. All right, hold on, let me redo that. 
Okay, take two. Now we go the right direction. So let's glue this on. I'm glad I caught that because this piece I'm gluing on, so I wouldn't be able to take it off. But I could take the flap off because that will only be taped on. But definitely pay attention if you're using directional paper. Okay. Now we are good. Let's cover the glue up. Okay. And let's move on. All right, so this is going to go in here, but first, right, first thing I need to add my flap. So this is where we're going to put it. So I'm going to center it. And I'm also keeping an eye on where my two little parts here go. So I want them centered. So I'm going to pay attention more here than necessarily up here. Stick this one down. And then now I can put this in here. So I did this design on another album because I remember the points lining up. So I've definitely done that before. Just no idea what album. All right. So this is going to go in the pocket. Like that. So let's get this tape loosened up so it will come right off for me. And let's put this on. And that looks good. You can put a string closure on the flap if you want to. I'm not going to do that just because I'm only putting the flap on, so nothing in here. Why is it getting caught? Um, so nothing in here will get fall out like this. But the weight of the pocket here will keep this flap closed. And then when we go to take photo mats and stuff out, it'll be like that. That looks so pretty. Just like that. All right, so then now it's just for this pocket here, which we'll be doing the same. And trying to decide if I want to do my pocket this way right there or this way. Um, do face. See when I come back. Get that glare out of there. All right, so let's go ahead and I cut out my pieces. So I did the pocket this way. So stay again, staying away from my score line. So you can see. Oops, you can see where my score line is and my pocket. So they're not quite touching each other. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down this piece first because I don't have to line anything up, so it'd just be easier. And then I can put my pocket down. that and then my this piece is going to go right like that and that looks good So this is what we have right now. Whoops. 
you could actually, if you wanted to, kind of tuck it under. I'm just going to do that so it doesn't flap. It's not, it's too tight to actually use it as a workable piece. If I had used tape and not glue, that would work perfect. The tape, I mean, um, the glue went ahead and made it harder so it's not as flexible. So you can see like on this one here, this is just tape. So you can see how flexible that is, but the glue makes it hard. And then I probably should stop doing that before I damage it. So now we're gonna work on this part here, which is two of the medium pockets and one of the small pocket die. So we're gonna cut out two of these and one of these, and I'm gonna attach my pattern paper to that part. All right, so this is going to be my background paper for this area here. So it's going to go just like that and just get it stuck down. There. And the other sides. I must use this side, but if I was too busy, it would take away from my pockets. And I wanted you to be able to get a good look at those pockets with the fancy edges. All right, so that's done. So like I said, I cut out one of the small pocket die and two of the medium. And for the medium ones, I'm going to use on the edge number 51. And I'm going to use that guy. Our girl and we're gonna go so these ones here fit perfect with the medium pocket die and it goes it's gonna go just like that so let's go ahead and get both of those cut out and then I'm gonna do my pattern paper exactly the same like I've done on my other ones so I have my pockets done so we're gonna stick these on so these ones here, I gotta turn it, are gonna go just like that. So I wanna leave a small border of the um, other pattern paper behind it. And stick this one down. And then this one here, I'm going to add to this side and just we're going to go right about there again doing the same thing small border here up just a little bit on that okay and then stick this one down it's going to be so cute with all the the tag sticking out of it. It's going to be a, a fun look. So now I have my small pocket die. So for the on the edge die, I'm using number 36. Yeah, let's see which one shall we use? Um, I'm going to use this one. So you get four of these little baby dies in the package. I'm going to use that one. So this is the shape I'm going to use for this one. I think it'll look nice with the gear. So we're going to go up or down. Uh, we're going to go up with this one. So these ones we went down and this one I'm going to go up. So we'll get that one cut out. I'm going to do it the exact same way as the others. So I went ahead and attached my pattern paper and this little guy is just going to hang out right up like that. So stick it down and then this side. Now because that pocket right there is on top of another pocket, it is also a little tight. So I just like to go in with my ruler and just kind of 
press up on those sides a little bit. And then that way your tag will fit in nice. It kind of puffs it up a little bit. The Tim Holtz, is it Tim Holtz? Yeah, Tim Holtz ruler. It's kind of got a rounded edge up here. So that's what I'm using. And then this side is flat. So you can see that right there. That's too flat there, but it's got rounded here. Even if you don't have that ruler, you can always like stick anything in there and just kind of puff it up a little bit. But anyway, that is that one. So like this. So anyway, let's compare them now. So as you can see, the difference that making the um, using on the edge dies, it kind of makes it a little more fancy. And then our top one. And then over here again, you can see the difference. And this is actually using it the same way. So with the pattern paper tucked under where you can still kind of get the whole image here is the same way as doing it this way. However, you have a nice fancy edging on that part. And then over here, oops, actually we need this one first. You can see right here, oh, I didn't even realize I used the same paper, that's funny. You can see the right here, the nice little edge this gives, and you have a nice straight edge there. And then we go over to our pockets, and then that's the difference between these two there and there. All right, so that's kind of cute. So now let's work on the back page. So what we're doing is in the first video I mentioned, I was going to create a pocket um, on the pages that we hold together because it's a pocket and it's about pockets. So this one here, when you put it together, it will sit like this and it's gonna be on a flap that opens like this. So we need to create that piece. So you need a piece eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters and you're gonna score on a half inch um, on the eight and three quarter inch side. So you have an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter square. And the, this part here is going to be to your right. And I'm using on the edge XL die number 27, which is this fun one here. And this is literally almost the size of my paper. So that's what we're going to do there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that one out. So it lines up perfect. I don't need to center anything. So I'll cut that one out. So I cut that one out there and okay. And then I need to do my pattern paper. So let's hold this one, let's give it a burnish. Okay, and then this one here. I'm gonna center it up. and trace it out. Let's make sure I didn't move. Nope, I'm good. So same thing again. And find where it goes. And looks good right there. And I'll cut that one out. So this is what we have. I got this all cut out. So we have that. And I did go ahead and ink and added score tape to that piece. Put this one away. So my tape 
and line it up. I know I fit perfect. I already checked. You're good there. And I'm going to remove the tape and then I'm also going to add some glue. So I'm adding glue to this part. There we go. That stuff down. So now we need to add some tape to our lap. So I'm doing it on the side that doesn't have paper and you definitely want to go ahead if you're cutting this like this and add the paper now just because it'll be easier than trying to maneuver it around when you build your book or your page rather. So now we can take this one here. So you're going to fold it so you can see the tape and then this is just going right on top. So you want this one attaching to the right side. So I'm going to go ahead, make sure I'm all lined up. Oops, I slipped. I'm going to hold it and now I can stick it. So now when you have, yeah, because then this opens this way, this this way. So when it gets attached to the binding, it'll be like this. And then these two will get attached together. And then that's when you create a nice big pocket. So I just have this side to go. And I am thinking that we are pretty thick right now. So for, at the moment, I am just going to go ahead and add a big piece of pattern paper here and I'm going to call it done just because I don't want to I feel like where's the one that has so this one's pretty thick already because it already has tags in it. So yeah, that'll be pretty. So your page itself will open like this and then it will go like this and then the whole thing will flip like that and then this whoops and then this will do all of its fun stuff so for now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some paper here and then call that part done all right, so let's get this guy stuck down. Yeah, it's good right there. I'll probably add some pockets to this because it is, after all, about pockets. So I just need to see what we have for room when we start putting this together. But there we go. So then this one opens this way. So let's take a quick peek again. That's the same page. So then when they're attached, we'll have that and then we'll put some pattern paper here too before we attach everything. All right, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This kind of gives you a little walkthrough about making the pockets and you can make them simple or you can make them fancy as you can see right here. All right. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, Patty's Crafty Spot, and you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching it on the Creoles YouTube channel, you can also go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
because that's who brings us these amazing dies. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.